Hi friends, today we're doing a quick tutorial on this loose hydrangea reef. Here are my supplies, a round six and a round two brush, my Daniel Smith watercolor paints. I'm starting here with the Mayan Blue Genuine and this is the Rhodonite Genuine. These are from their Primatech line, which are made from the gemstones, and they have a beautiful granulating effect. These colors mixed together make this beautiful, dusty sort of purple. This is the Jadeite Genuine. Um, it's a very dark green, and I'm going to mix in a little bit of the Quinacridone Gold to brighten it up, make it a little bit more sap green. I'm going to use this gray watercolor pencil to put down an outline of my reef, just to remind me where I want my flowers to go. I'm loading up my brush with a lot of that blue pigment. Since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna start in that upper left corner. For these petals, you're just gonna start with the tip of your brush and press down lightly. Leave a little bit of white space in the middle and then go around that white space, putting five petals in for a full flower. Once I complete that first flower, I'm gonna rinse some of the paint off my brush and place a couple petals uh, behind this flower so it indicates that there's a flower behind it then we're going to make another full flower since this is nature each flower is going to look different and trust me we are going to make these blobs look like actual flowers soon enough i'm dropping in some of that rhodonite to give some depth to these flowers i'm adding some more light paint to indicate flowers behind these flowers simply with their petals. With hydrangeas, as you work your way out from the center of the flower, you're going to make the petals lighter and lighter. This creates depth so that the ones that are the darkest, the full ones, are the ones closest to your eye and everything else is falling around behind it. So as I'm working my way around to the edge, I am washing pigment off the brush. So the ones on the edge are almost just water. Now I'm going to go in with that jadeite mix I made earlier to add some leaves. To create the leaf, I am just starting with the tip of my brush and then I'm going to push down as I pull away to get that leaf shape. The belly of the brush is going to do a lot of that work for you to create that leaf shape. I'm also going to go in and add uh, just some little like stamen in the middle of my flowers. Now I'm using just the tip of my brush to create small stems throughout this bunch of flowers, making sure it always points back to the center. And I love those bleeds that I'm getting because uh, my paint is still a little bit wet. I'm going to add some more leaves to the outside of my bouquet. You know, again, just tip of the brush, let the barrel of the brush do the work for you to create that leaf shape. To make it look like nature, change up the color of each leaf, add a little bit more gold or green. For my second hydrangea bunch, I am going to change up the color a little bit. I actually started with the Amethyst Genuine, mixing a little bit of that Mayan blue in there. This bunch will go in the bottom right corner and then I'm gonna fill out the reef with leaves. I'm starting this bunch the same way with a full bloom. Because I mixed a little bit of that Mayan blue in the paint, even though these are different colors, they will still go well together. This bunch will be a slightly smaller group of flowers, uh, making the one in the upper left more of the focal point. Again, I'm using the tip of my brush to create these petals and just slightly pressing down, making sure I'm leaving that white space. And I'm adding all those additional petals, again, washing my paint off my brush as I get farther and farther towards the outside. I'm dropping in a little bit of that Mayan blue to give some depth to the bouquet. And now add some of those leaves to the outside and stems inside the bouquet. Again, make sure all the stems are pointed to a central location so it feels like they're all coming from the same place. To fill out the bouquet, I am going to add some larger leaves. I'm again using the tip of my brush and pressing down with the barrel. As long as your paint is still wet, you can adjust the edges. I just don't want them to look too perfect. Again, for that leaf, you start with the tip and you press down with the barrel and then go in and do the other side. Now these I'm doing larger leaves to fill out and I also added a little bit more gold to the paint so that they're a slightly different color. And I'm just gonna go around and fill in some of the empty spaces. I still do struggle sometimes with leaf placement, especially in bouquets. I always worry, am I going overboard? Sometimes I'll take a big step back from the painting to look in and see where the white is drawing my eye, and that's where I'm gonna go ahead and fill some space in. For these leaves, I am varying the hue. Some have more jade, some have more gold. Um, that way it looks a little bit more natural. 
uh, as leaves are all different colors. And then this last leaf that I'm going to put down, um, I am going to add a little bit of that jade. Oh, that's a little dark. Using a dry brush, I can sop a little bit of that extra pigment up. And here's our final wreath. One thing, uh, because I did use some of that amethyst in there, you can catch there's a little bit of sparkle. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And if you did make something, then don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Michelle Gets Artsy. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you want more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe.